What do you do for a living? I use the Instagram, Snapchat. You are in content creation? Of course. You make money out of it? Yes. How much money can we make? Can I show you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. This is... Oh, man. This is a lot. You do not need to go to university to do what you want in life, basically. Yeah. Is university important or no? Is university important or no? In today's society, is diploma important or no? I believe not, and I like it. What do you do for a living? Promoter. I sell tickets. You are a boss? Hello. Yes. So, so you make a lot of money. Can we guess? Like 4,000 or 5,000? More than that, you make 10,000? You didn't graduate from high school? No, no high school. Yeah. I don't have university. Eh? University is not really important because a lot of people from university going to McDonald's world. What is the most expensive item you have in your wardrobe? A Chanel bag. Chanel bag. So we are talking about 4 or 5K? No. Is it important to go to university to find a good job or no? I don't know because uh, I was in the school, but at my last year I leave the school. So you make a decent amount of money? Of course. How much you make per year or per month? For one month, I think... Wow, she's a millionaire, for sure. She's a millionaire in Malta. Yo guys, today's video is very special and amazing. I'm going to ask people, is university important or no? Because I received a lot of messages from you to do this video. And that's why I'm going to ask, is university a scam or no? Let's go. Valentina, 21, Italy. My name is Dario Sabatino. My surname is the best one. I'm from Italy, Naples. Pizza, pasta, uh, you know what also. Moisha, 27, I'm from UK, Nottingham. Princess, I'm 28, I'm from Wolverhampton in the UK. My name is Tatiana, I have 28 and I'm from uh, Switzerland. My name is Ksenia, I'm 30 years old and I'm from Belarus. So I'm Margherita, I'm from Turin, Italy mm -hmm. and I'm 17 years old. I'm Gundib, I'm 20, I'm from Switzerland. Okay, my name is Charlotte, I have uh, soon 24 and I'm from France. What do you do for a living? Now I use the Instagram, Snapchat, but here I'm a team leader of promoter. What do you mean, like you are in content creation? Yes, content creation, of course. What kind of contents do you make? Funny, spontaneous, natural and uh, lifestyle. You make money out of it? Yes. How much money can we make being a content creator? Too much. It depends how long you publish video, you know, how many times you publish and uh, regular. The main source is Instagram for you or TikTok, Facebook, YouTube you do? Uh, it depends. On, on uh, Snapchat it's different because on Snapchat mm -hmm. it's uh, you publish video and you get money. On Instagram it's different because uh, if you publish some video mm -hmm. or some photo, agency contact you to make a collaboration. That's nice. So how many followers you have at the moment on Instagram? Uh, my English is bad, but I try to do my best. On Instagram, I have more than 12, and on Snapchat, is more. It's one, uh, one, two, and zero. 100 zero followers. Can I show you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. She's saying she's influencer. We have a lot to learn from her. She's into digital age. This is. Oh man, this is a lot. 112,000. And your Instagram, please. Instagram is not a 13k 1.1 million yes. profile view so we need to learn from you how you grow your Instagram because we also want to grow our Instagram only the wheels but you have hashtags to... no hashtag I don't want hashtag hashtag mm -hmm. for me it's uh, has been you know now it's the wheel and you have to cap the attention you have to make a good video to your mm -hmm. public share, uh, say okay I want to share this I it's funny I like it okay you have education degree or no yeah, yeah, yeah. you have a diploma I I have the third school, but I speak English, Spanish, Italian. What and do you mean third school? Third school? Uh, no education, no super, superior school. You didn't graduate from high school? No, no high school. Okay, what do you do for a living? For a living, I work here in Malta for three months and the rest of the year I travel, I see the world. Is it enough for working three months then yeah, traveling yeah, around the world? I work three months, but I work good for three months. What do you think? University is important or no? I think uh, university is not really important because a lot of people from university going to McDonald's work okay I think uh, university don't do the person don't do the people okay so if one is uh, wake up and they have had can do a lot of things in his life some people say that university is a scam do you agree or no is de depend because if you go to university with the good head you can do a lot of things but if you go only for fun and for the party you don't do nothing in your life what we don't learn from the university or from the school they don't teach us like uh, not be normal person okay they don't teach us like do very money because uh, they put you in a system okay for me matrix you mean 
make a system with you, okay? Yeah. And you are uh, one uh, number of 7,000 uh, people we are, no, 7 uh, million, billion. People, billion people we are. Sorry for my English, but... More I, than 7 billion. Yeah. I don't have university, eh? <laughs> but you make money. But you make money, it's very good. Very good. What do you do for a living? Promoter, I sell tickets. What kind of tickets? Uh, for all the disco here in Paceville and uh, Uno Malta, Giampula, everything. Oh, well, nice. And being in your position, how much money can we make? Uh, in my position, I am team leader. I have uh, guys over me, uh, under me. You are a boss. A yes. So, uh, so you make a lot of money. Yes. How much? Uh, it depends. In June, a little bit more, uh, less money. In uh, July and August, uh, top. So can we guess? Like four thousand or five thousand? More. more than that. You make ten thousand. Eight to ten at month. Oh, well, nice. How do you invest your money? Uh, I invest my money not mm -hmm. working during the winter. <laughs> It means like you are working seasonal I job. I just work three months mm -hmm. in all the year and the last the other time I stay in Italy with my mother wow. and live my best life. But you don't have any investment? Uh, I have two, but I don't. What do you do for a living? I'm a manager for the best agency in Malta, Life Event. Wow, you are a manager? Yeah, oh, actually. Right. So do you have education degree? Yeah, I have, uh, in France, you have the diploma and it's uh, five years. Uh, I work for the communication event myself for the brand in France mm -hmm. and in Malta too. Is it important to go to university to find a good job or no? I don't know because uh, I was in the school, but at my last year, uh, the years or I have my diploma, mm -hmm. I leave the school because for me, if you want competence, if you want to learn, you need to be on the, the field. Yeah, yeah. So, what do you do for a living? Um, I work for the council in Nottingham, so I work in housing. So I'm the housing officer there, getting people out off the streets and putting them in housing. Is it like a government job? It's a government job. Yes. Okay. I'm a student nurse. Student nurse. But being in your position in a government job, how much can we make? 28 to 39, but obviously if you want to be like manager's role, you can earn up to like 50. So it just depends, you have to just get onto the ladder. Do you have an education degree? No, I don't. I went to uni for two years, but I didn't finish and I studied media and communications. But she has a degree. degree. I've got a business management and finance degree. But you said that student nurse. So I switched up, yeah. So I did my business degree in 2014 and then I worked for like four years and then I've gone back to uni again. It's interesting, people do it in an opposite way. From nursing, they are going for a business yeah, degree. Yeah, but, yeah. but what happened to you? In my A-levels, I did business and I did health and social care. So I picked business more, mm -hmm. so I followed in that business route. And then now I wanted like a switch around. I wanted a change from like the core life, if that makes sense. What do you do for a living? I'm a choreographer, I'm a dance teacher. How long you are in that position? For 15 years. 15 years and 15 you, ha years. you have 30 year old? Yeah. Okay, yep. you have 15 years experience. What, what did you learn valuable from your career? First it was like my hobby. Uh, I was like a dancer. Then I tried to teach uh, small children. And then I finished uh, the University of Culture in Belarus. And I uh, have diploma of choreographer. Is it important to have a diploma starting your position? It's not very important, but it's very important to have a lot of knowledge about not only about choreography, also about anatomy, also about people body to make only good things with it. <laughs> is diploma important in today's days, like in today's society? Is diploma important or no? I believe not and I like it because uh, now we have a lot of um, places and a lot of courses where we can we learn something new and can we study and it's great that you shouldn't um, have like five years in university to learn everything and not only your specialty so you can choose something you like and learn it you are in a school? Yeah, I'm in a school, high school. Okay, and after graduating from high school, what do you want to do? I actually don't know, maybe something with the creative world, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe psychologist. Creative work? Yeah, I think so. How? Like a, doing something with people is creative or mind reading, this kind of things? Yeah, I think. <laughs> maybe a psychologist has mm -hmm. to think. Okay, that's nice. Okay. So, is, is university important or no? I, I think so, yeah. Why? Because you have to study what you're going to do. Like, mm -hmm. high school is less... Uh, important than university. So with your high school you cannot find a good job or you cannot be succeeding I but with university? Yeah, I mm -hmm. think so. What do you do for a living? Uh, nothing, I'm a student. 
What do you want to do in the future? I want to be a doctor. You are studying in medicine? Yeah. How long? Like right now, I did two years. Mm -hmm. I have four more years to go. Why do you want to be a doctor? It was a dream since childhood, so mm -hmm. I'm just following that. But is there any like a parental pressure? No. You chose it individually? Yes. Is university important or no? Um, for me, yes. Why you say so? Because it gives me the opportunity to study medicine. But do you know after graduation how much salary you can make per year? No, I didn't inform myself about that yet. Why you are studying? Well, because I want to be a doctor. And the money is not important after graduation? Well, the money is important because, mm. I mean, how can I live without money? Do you want to be a millionaire in the future? No. Why no? I don't need that much money to be happy. What gives you happiness? Well, I'm just happy around my family and friends and to go on holidays like this. Mm -hmm. Do you have university de diploma? Yes, I have. Marketing and communication, but it's not my diploma I will make uh, to do this. So the university is not important to be a content creator? For me, not. Maybe it helps you to know something, because agency have my Instagram, mm -hmm. like a McDonald's, Burger King. It's not like a funny in video. If you have some people, uh, learn and make a good thing to, to grow the, the account, you know? Mm -hmm. So for me, Judy's is important, but not too much. If you are motivated, if you love what you do, you can make all what you want. Nice. And how do you invest your money? My money? I take care about my money. How? It not depends too much. No, I mean like, do you invest your money somewhere? Or maybe the bank or stocks or crypto or anything else? How do you invest your money? No, maybe I've been thinking about that. But how do you spend your money? Oh. That is the interesting yes, part, spending. Yes, interesting question. Mm -hmm. Holidays, clothes, of course. And uh, about no, not not now. Not this one. No, no, not this one because now it's too much hot, you know. Ah, okay. Can we guess like how much is your outfit? Mm, no, it's too really outfit. I like I'm uh, go. Fun. I go to swimming pool. That's why I'm not mm. put uh, the good outfit. Maybe tonight you can guess. Tonight we will see you. Yes. But how? How? You are going to the party? Yes, I'm going to the party. But we are not partying. Sorry. Why? No, I'm, I you don't know. Party? I'm not interested in for partying. That's why. Oh. Okay, so yeah. I know you're going to see me. We are not content creator, maybe that's why. So you can follow me, you have to see how much I Sure, do. yeah, we'll follow you and people also will follow you. What we don't learn from university, from school? Basic life skills of just, from Learning school, like you yeah. said, you managing, managing money, money, budgeting, budgeting even day -day your own life. business as well. Like yeah. they don't teach you, like they don't teach you to own your own business. Like they, mm. Yeah, uh, there's a lot you don't learn from school. I can vouch for that. <laughs> you learned this after dropping out from your business degree? No, I learned it from just, just like... Just living. Just living life. Just living life and making stuff, new yeah. friends. Something you learn from your friends as well, like you meet a lot of people in uni yeah. and you learn different things from them. You don't have to be in uni to learn from other people. Mm -hmm. Just from meeting people, like and conversing living and living. Basically. So mainly like budgeting, like things, we don't learn that basic in uni. Stuff, yeah. Basic skills, basic, you don't learn. living skills. Yeah. No. That's, that's mm -hmm. fair enough, actually. Can we say that the university is a scam? I'm guessing this, I can. I'm guessing this vlog here is an anti-university. Anti <laughs> <laughs> because in, in our community, people want to know, they ask the question, is university you. a scam or no? You do you do not need to go to university to do what you want in life, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can you say that. You don't need to go to university to earn the amount of money that you want to earn in the future. You can actually get a job and work your way up from it. Work your way up. Yeah. And like, I feel like a lot of people, like if you go to like actual like corporate like workplaces, everybody has like worked their way, way up, up from it. Yeah. yeah. Most people have not gone to uni. This yeah. generation, a lot of people are not going to uni. There's certain celebrities that have not been, but they're earning so much money now. You don't need it. But some people get lucky. Some people they actually... Don't. Are really doing well with their degree don't drop out guys no, do, do, do what, what you doing. need to do okay yeah. but if you don't, don't, go, don't feel like you need yeah. to go to become what you want to don't do don't feel bad just work on yourself you'll get there believe me when i tell you you probably don't need to go yeah. <laughs> you haven't dropped out the second one yet no, she no, 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 no not yet no, no, not, not yet okay. but you have a plan no <laughs> <laughs> what we don't learn from the school how to live <laughs> for example how to pay rent how to pay our taxes how to pay everything like this they learn us only some subjects mm -hmm. but it's nothing common with real life if you don't learn this from school but how we learn it only your own experience you should do it my first time when I was uh, paying rent I was with my mom we were in bank my mom made something like yes you can do it and I'm like this yep I'm doing good am I right so only your own experience for people in their early 20s 
what financial and personal development advice you would give to them? Don't lie to yourself. Uh, try to find something you want to do because uh, if you will do some work you don't like, it will be your very bad life. Try not to lie to yourself. And do you have education degree for working as a promoter? Yeah. or? No, I just have education degree mm -hmm. as a... Um, Tourism and marketing. Mm -hmm. And is it important to have a university degree this time? Absolutely no. no. Just if you have to do the doctor, the mm -hmm. some jobs that uh, needs uh, to be to have a diploma. Yes, have yeah. a diploma. But for uh, bartender, all those jobs you find here in Malta, you don't need. To. Okay. Some people say that university is a scam. Do you agree or no? Yeah, it depends on what type of job you want to do. But let's say that beside STEM jobs, beside the medicine or lawyer schools, if we want to do in different industries or fields, what we don't learn from the university, what they don't teach us? Uh, how to live, uh, how to be independent. They just teach you how to do that job, but not how to live uh, in that uh, damn bit uh, of work. What we don't learn from school? I don't know, maybe I don't do a uh, high school where I can study psychology. Mm -hmm. So if I want to do uh, psychology, I have to enter a university. But being a psychologist, how much money can we make per month or per year? Do you know? I don't know, ma but uh, every hour they do like 60 euros. Mm -hmm. So. Do you want to be a millionaire? No. Why not? Not really. I, I want to do a great life. That's it. Being a millionaire, you cannot have your great life, you mean? I want to enjoy my, my life. So I if I want to spend money, I will spend money. Mm -hmm. Some people say that university is a scam. Do you agree with that or no? No. <laughs> Why? It isn't scam. What we don't learn from school, university? Well, some things about life, like taxes. Yeah, I don't know, insurance and stuff like that. But how do you learn this? Um, from my parents. <laughs> they teach you? Yeah, a little bit. Do they have education degree? No. Are they good at in finance? Yeah. What they do for a living? Well, they work in a factory. They have their own business? No. For people in their early 20s want to start medicine to study, what advice you would give to them? Just keep on studying. It's going to be hard, but for me it's going to be worth it. What? university doesn't teach us what we don't learn from university a lot of things in the university you have uh, not capacity but you learn uh, i don't know this 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 and not on the um, not to practice yes you don't practice and okay, for you me you learn the knowledge but you don't know how to practice it and now i know because uh, i leave the school and i and i work before okay. i don't know so you make a decent amount of money? Of course. Really? Of course. Yes, so really, really, really. Can really. you spot it how much you make per year or per month? For one month, I think 3,000. Wow, she's a millionaire, for sure. She's a millionaire in Malta. <laughs> no, no. Do you have any plan in the future to have your own business? For me personally, I've never ever been like an entrepreneur, but mm. my partner, he's very business minded. Like he can't work for people, people, he says. And he has that drive. But me personally, no, I've always, yeah, gone, yeah I've always I worked. Know. I don't There's know. still time though. I'm not too sure. Hopefully, I'm going Maybe, to yeah. open my own business. Hopefully. There's still time. I don't know. I'm still a, I'm still a bit Maybe, lost. Yeah. I'm still We're young. young. <laughs> yeah, of course, you are Gen Z actually, yeah. 27. Yeah. So, I'm a Gen Z. Yeah, you are Gen Z. I'm a, I'm a millennial. A millennial. How old are you, sir? I'm 28. No, you are also Gen Z. 1995. It's considered 1995 until 96 and above. C come on. Please, I, I always introduce myself as a Gen Z, but I'm 1995. Let me tell you one thing, because okay. you said that your partner is a business mindset he has. How you are maintaining your relationship or how you are like settling together with him. Is it going well or easy to communicate with him because you are completely different? Yeah, we've been together for like four years, but like sometimes he's, like it's always like to me, like I need to think of a business, I need to think of something to do, but I'm always like, in the UK, like they don't train you to be an entrepreneur or whatnot. They're just, you're schooled to get a job. So mindset is completely different because obviously he's not from the UK, but he lives in the UK, but he's originally from Africa, Nigeria. For people in their early 20s or under 20s, they are thinking about starting their university degree or their early career, mm -hmm. what advice you would give to them? I would say make sure you know 100% what course you're getting into yep. before you get into it. You don't want to waste so many years doing and something. doing something and you're not happy with. Just don't do because your friends are doing it. Don't do it. Think about yourself and if you want to do it, then go for it. Obviously, everyone is different. Your journey is different compared to other people's. Don't feel pressured by 
my parents, family, friends, you're fine, okay? Put yourself first, because I know parents sometimes, just do what you want to do, make yourself happy, no pressure. For people in their early 20s or like 18, 19 years old, what advice you would give to them? Do what you want to do because you don't have mo- you don't have time to do it in the future. If you want to have a good life, this is the moment. Don't do a 30, 40, 50, you have to leave it now. How do you spend your money? Um, I want to go in Thailand uh, for leave in September, so I take my money and I put it in my pocket and I don't touch. Wow, yeah. that's good. So you are not investing, you are just saving your money for going to Thailand? Yeah, yeah. I don't want to come back in France because uh, I don't. I love the friends, but for leave, it's not for me. Why? Because uh, for me, I want. I, I can work with my computer, so I don't need to work in the, you know, with a lot of people in Office. the little place. Me, for me, you bring me in the beach with the uh, palmier and I can work so and the Thailand uh, will be a beautiful uh, country. You want to be a digital nomad? Yes, I am. Another question uh, regarding your outfit. What is the most expensive item you have in your wardrobe? A Chanel bag. Chanel bag. So we are talking about 4 5k? Yes, more. More than 5k? Yes. Uh, Chanel bag, you know, it's a very... Uh, it's a girl who we know it all in around the world, you know. Mm. If people want to start on social media, Instagram, mm-hmm. TikTok, or Snapchat, what advice you would give to them? I try to to, to explain in English, but uh, if you start to make content, the most things that you have to do is to love what you make, mm-hmm. and do not think that if you make this, you have make money. Okay, me when I, I post something, when I post reels, when I post in Snapchat, I'm not thinking about how I make money. I'm just thinking about how I make the smile of the people. That's why I make the difference. Because Good answer. Yes. You make people happy, and then yes, it, it gives you in return the money. No, not money. Snapchat give money. The people will tell me, oh, thank you. I have so bad day, and if I look your story, I have smile. So for me, it's the best way to make a good content and to yes, to say okay, I make a good thing in the world. Good. Thank you very much. Good luck on your career and good luck Thank on you. your social media. That's it from me today. Comment below which interview you liked most. Also, don't forget hit the like and subscribe button. I see you in the next video. Bye.